send it to the com oh come here oh my god oh my gosh um you guys want to see what he's doing <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> anyways so i'm gonna just show you real quick the doctor's office uh visit his braces and the end but before i click off i just want to let you know yes i did say that i wasn't going to address um the rumors of me being a scammer or a liar but uh, at the end of the video i do have a clip of me asking uh the receptionist or the insurance well she's the only person that works there right now that deals with the insurance and I was asking her some questions, so yeah, you guys will hear that. That's the only proof that I have at this point. Um, if you choose to believe me, okay. If you choose not to, okay. It doesn't matter. At the end of the day, I am very grateful and I am very blessed for all of you who did um, contribute to Amir's GoFundMe. And for your prayers and your support and your love, even throughout all this BS that I've dealt with. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, here's the video. So we're here in the office. This is a completely different office than I expected. I don't know who I spoke to on the phone, but I'm gonna try to get as much information as I can. This office is specifically for the um orthotics so are you ready bud are you ready we're both ready we've been waiting for so long so like i can't wait to finally get these braces yay you ready you ready bubba you ready you ready it's like the foot part needs to be trimmed. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna trim it down on the top too. Your legs in the air. <laughs> Don't touch me. <laughs> he hates when anybody touches his feet. Yeah. So cute. But What exactly are the braces for? Like, it just like helps to straighten the feet or like the legs? It's gonna help keep his, um, he's uh, he put in a more neutral position. Okay. And just the stability to his ankle bones. Okay. Hey, Papa. Why do you hate when people touch your feet so much, Amir? <laughs> How often do these have to change? Like, um, depends on his growth. Um, I mean, if you start to see that it's becoming really short, or that his foot's coming off at the front, then, or right up to the edge of it, then it might need to get recast. Sometimes it gets tight in the inset here. Mm -hmm. I'll leave a little bit extra from that line just to, because when he stands up, he's going to get pushed forward a little bit. Okay. Sorry, guys, if you didn't hear. Um, but the reason for the braces for people that were wondering, um, he needs them for when they start doing a therapy where they have him standing. Even though he is quadriplegic, they do 
exercises where they have to have him standing and his feet naturally go like this but they want it to go like this you see what i mean they don't want it to go like this i don't know how else to explain it i'm sorry it wasn't loud enough because i'm like really like you know recording but i feel weird recording i don't want to make anyone uncomfortable and me record her actually speaking i could ask her permission but i just feel weird about it right amir you feel weird about it too yeah we both feel weird about it you guys check out my shirt thank you pooh bear it says mama of a warrior just in case you guys can't really see i really love this shirt Thank you so much. We're just waiting for his braces to be adjusted and hopefully we get to leave soon. I was just told that he has to wear the braces with shoes and Amir hates shoes. So I'm gonna have to go buy a pair that's gonna be super huge because obviously you have to put the shoes over the braces. A lot of people confused braces for his teeth. He's just a baby. Why would you guys common sense? <laughs> I'm sorry. People just want to find a reason to just mess with me. But Amir is too young to have braces for his mouth. Hey, pups. And even if you did, actually, I wouldn't want you to have braces. I like his little gap. I love your gaps. I love everything about you, bud. He didn't sleep at all last night. He went to sleep at 8 o'clock this morning. And we had to be here at 10. So he's really tired. Alright, we'll see you when we're all done. $1,043.32.21. Okay. Does, um... What, whoever called me, I don't know if it was from this office, they told me that it would like take three weeks since, um, once you put the first payment down. Does yeah. this sometimes take longer? Sometimes it does, depending oh. like on the fabrication company. Because um, they do tend lately, I see that they're, they're falling behind because they do have a lot of orders coming in. And as a company, we switch to different, different fabricators just to cut down on the cost. But it's kind of, we're still trying to work a system with those new, those new fabricators. Um, because we're so we're so used to the other ones that they know our schedule, they know how we liked it. As in this case, okay, all the new fabrication fabricators are falling behind because we do send a lot of stuff to them. Gotcha. Yeah. Because I was like, wait, I don't know why it's taking. So yeah, long. I'm okay. so sorry. No, no, it's okay. He has them now, so I'm happy. Yeah, there you go. Um, I I really wish I knew who I spoke to the first time. I don't know if the procedure is. When you get the first phone call, yeah, I didn't get a price. The price was given, and it was two thousand eight hundred and eighty-eight dollars. Yeah, and then I asked for a letter mm -hmm. proof. Okay, and then they sent the letter, but yeah. the 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 cost went down to two thousand eighty-six. Oh, so I was kind of confused as okay. to like if you have like any notes that say that the original cost. That was given in to me was two thousand eight hundred eighty eight. Oh, let's see here. Um, yeah, because that's what I've been. I didn't know if it was here, this office, yeah. or doctor's office that told me the cost. The cost of it. Yeah, because um, I do see two thousand two thousand um eighty six dollars and and forty two cents. Mm -hmm. Um. Oh, maybe. Maybe that amount came up because it shows that you have an unmet annual deductible of $2,888.92. So maybe that's what that pricing was for. Yeah. It might have been, it might have been that because it does show that you have, that's, a, that's the, that's the amount of the unmet deductible there. Yeah. I wasn't sure if the person who called me told me that cost. Yeah. But then when I got the letter, it was something different. different? Yes. Um, let's see. Let, um. It looks like because the lady before who um, she used to do all the insurance verifications, her name is Patty. Mm -hmm. She's no longer with us, but she's been working on this. So it should have been it should have been her, but she's no longer here in the company anymore. Oh. So she she went to a different company. So now it's just me as of 
last week she left the company. Oh, geez. yeah, yeah. But it shows that here that she um so it says uh, smoke spoke with mom, advice of balance. She liked to hold off uh, to move forward eventually. P.S. Which is is Patty. Yeah. And she didn't put like a cost or anything. No, normally she's pretty good at normally she's putting the dollar amount and then the cents. Um, but here it shows that I have a service. Oh, wait, let's see, actually. Oh, no, that shows. That was, that was the price. Yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't say anything about a original, original pricing. That looks like that would just be the only pricing. Okay. The 2000 Did you want the full, the full page of that? I can give everything in total for oh, you. Oh, please. Of I course. would really appreciate yeah, it. Of course. If you only knew what I went through for this because, like, I had to do a GoFundMe for him. Oh, really? And then people started saying that I lied about the the cost of the braces. And I'm like, that is not nice. Yeah. Yeah. Because you know what? A lot of these, a lot of the people think they can go online and just Google pricing. And everything has to do with the set, um, the, you know, our, our agreement with the, um, the insurance company. So it, let's say you have, let's say you have Blue Cross Blue Shield as your insurance company. That pricing is going to be different from than what you have, so it's going to be. It's always going to be different. So people think you can just go online and Google things, and you know, um, they'll find the pricing. But that's not always always the case. It's it's always different from each company, insurance company. So let's see. So these are the, the total. That's the that your your receipts that you paid. Okay. So this is where it might be a little bit confusing. confusing. So it looks like. So right here it shows the total estimate of the services mm -hmm. right here, which is two thousand eighty dollars, uh, eighty six dollars and forty two cents, and your unmet annual deductible is two thousand eight hundred eighty eight dollars and ninety two cents. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank but then you. that breaks down everything for you: the you know your your deductible, the the price that it was, the level of service. That's perfect. So basically, at the end of the day. The woman that originally gave me that phone call no longer works at the office. How convenient. A week before I show up, she's gone. So if anybody doesn't believe me, I honestly could care less. All I want to say is thank you to everyone that contributed. Whether it was a prayer or a donation, I, I love you all. Don't mess with my Amir. He's a biter. You guys don't want it. <laughs> thank you so much for your support i appreciate it and i'm just gonna throw a little clip of him trying to bite some corn my child is a beast when it comes to biting that makes my day only because you know he's very limited on what he can do so whenever i see him do something it's just it's a blessing so again thank you all i'm forever grateful and your blessings are coming too. You got the cord in your mouth. <laughs> Amir don't play when it comes to biting. <laughs>